Hello everyone. How are you today? I want to say what's up to you. Hope everything is going okay in your life. And we're going to just take some time out, just relax, breathe. Today I will be, be providing to you lip swatches on the LA Colors, from the LA Colors Matte Lip Collection. I have a total of five colors in front of me. They're definitely colors that is good for the spring and the summer. And maybe even going into the fall. And I have two lighter shades. One kind of in the middle spectrum. And two on the deeper end of the color spectrum. So, LA Colors, again, is one of those brands that you can pretty much find anywhere in the USA and perhaps maybe internationally um, definitely you can find them in stores like I found these five liquid lipsticks in the store Dejo, Dejo Japan and I was able to buy them for a dollar and ninety nine cents so basically two dollars each and I know you can find them on iKate House um, a lot of different online vendors and as well as some stores, boutiques, um, hopefully in your local area. But you can definitely find them on LAColors.com if you don't have it available, accessible, on the ground near you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with these colors. I really like these colors. And so you're going to see a variety of how they look on my particular skin, skin tone to give you an idea how they may look on your skin tone. So let's get started. I have the first color, which is called Daydream. It's in CLG411 Daydream. This is the color. And these matte lip colors liquid lip colors are not paraben free so they do have parabens in it two types of parabens um, and it also says it's a long wearing formula and to remove properly you must use it with an oil based makeup remover there's a 24 24 month date on these products so after 24 months, they say Aspire is no longer usable and the net weight is 0 0.14 ounces, which equals to 4 grams of product. So let's go ahead with the first shade. So the doe foot is pretty much a long doe foot. This is what the color looks like. And that's what the doe foot looks like. Very long, so you're going to get a lot of product on this wand. So you should be able to use it in one use and always flip your wand over because the wands on both sides has pigment product to be used. So here's the first color. Again, the color is Daydream. So this pretty much is the first layer. So 
you can get a sense of what it looks like on the first layer. Messed up a little bit on that swatch. So that's the first layer. And I have notes that I try to keep as I was swatching and using them per day to see how they wear, how they use my thoughts about them. So with a daydream, I said that the positives about this particular color that it wears long, so you do get a long wear with it, dries down really fast, there's no wait time to wait for the color to dry, which is a positive because, you know, if it's matte, we expect it to dry quickly, not have any wait time for a color to dry down. Um, it's a beautiful, I feel like a beautiful peachy pink type of color, really nice, very spring and summer. I feel it will look good on most all skin tones and really give just a really nice pop of color to your skin, especially if you're someone who has melanin to the skin, it will give a great pop. I imagine those with more lighter to medium you know, more of the lighter spectrum of your skin tone is may look more deeper on your skin, but I overall, I would think it will look very flattering. So, if you're someone who goes for those peachy pinks or the coral shade, this is definitely a color that be up your alley. Again, this is the first layer. I will go in with a second layer to show you what it looks like when you build it up, but there is again going into some of the weakness with the particular color um, there is some patchiness you will see there's some patches up the top of my lip and bottom lip and the application is really thin so it's not very like heavy or opaque on one basically swatch and I feel like you need additional layering and some of the color will remove itself over time. So even though it may have like a good decent wear time, the color will start to wear off. And I think with the lighter shades I noticed with LA colors, in particular the ones that I have, they are more thin and patchy. I don't know why that is compared to more of the deeper shades, which isn't the case with them. But overall, I think the color is really pretty very nice again perfect for the season would we'll go with most eye looks and i really like that color so i'm going to go in with a second shade so you can see exactly how it looks and i'm just i've been playing with my hair the whole time before i was going to start filming this video so i apologize it looks a little bit wild but I was kind of like playing with Instagram and things like that. And for some reason, my phone doesn't like the Instagram app. Like I update it on my phone and if I use the Instagram story or anything, it just shuts down, restarts my whole entire, entire phone. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it's on my phone and or it's more the Instagram app and, but you know, it's just it's one of those things but let me go in with a second layer just to show you what it looks like You definitely want the layer to dry down before you 
reapply a second layer. So this is the second layer. Now if you know you're someone who prefer a more sheer type of, like you just want a wash of color on your lip but not where it's so bold and bright because right now this color is very bold and bright on me. But I feel like it looks better this way versus the last way I had with just one layer. It just gives a still, you know, more uh, fuller color payoff. You still see some slight patchiness. So I would say to try to shake up the color in the tube first. Or move your wand around in the tube before applying see if that helps. But as it dries down, it starts to look better than what it does. But I still see some patchiness. So just be aware of that. And if you have a deeper pigmentation in your lips like I do, this they may come across on your lip. But overall, I think it's a really pretty color. Definitely stands out like very bold and bright. It will make a statement with your eye look, with your whole entire, you know, face look. So that is the color. I say don't rub your lips together. Always let your matte liquid lip colors dry down without rubbing your lips. It just works so much better. On the website, these matte liquid lip colors are three dollars. So if you could find them in a store, you may get them a little bit more cheaper. So you may pay a dollar or maybe two dollars at the most for them. On the website, they are three dollars. They are li listed under the liquid, not liquid, I'm sorry, the lip gloss category on the website under lips. I'm surprised they're not listed under lipstick because I consider matte liquid lip colors more lipstick versus lip gloss. But maybe they consider it just a gloss that has a matte finish. So, in any case, they're on the website. So, if you are interested, you can find them there. But that is the first color. This is Daydream. So, this is what the color looks like. So, again, a very pretty, pretty like a peachy pink, more on the pink spectrum, um, very beautiful, bright, bold color. So I'm going to come back and the next color I will be swatching will be pumped. So I will be back. I am back, back to Swatchland. So the next color I just swatched Daydream, so now I'm going to be swatching the next color which is called pumped and the color is CLG414 just gonna put that on my uh, lip here and just gonna have great old time with applying this color it just it's a nice little pink shade so this is what the color on a day with foot looks like let me show you the color in the tube first because I forgot to do that. So here's the color in the tube. It's more on the lighter spectrum of pink compared to Daydream, which is more peachy pink. So they're kind of similar, but the undertones are much different. This is more peachy. This is definitely more pink. So this is what it looks like and then I just showed you the doe foot, same doe foot. So it's definitely pink. So let's go ahead and swatch. So you can already tell this is like really neonish. Like straight bubblegum pink color.
I really like about these doe foot because they're longer. Some people may not like them, but you really get around your lips, especially if you are someone with fuller lips. You can really get a lot of surface with these wands. Like you get a lot of product around your lips. I find it easy to line my lips if I wanted to. It gets around very well. I always find the corner to be very tricky. So that is the first layer. It is definitely pink. It's on a lighter pink spectrum. Still a very pretty, vibrant color. Um, what I said about Pump is that it's a very, I feel like it's more opaque. Compared to Daydream on the first layer, but there's still some patchiness there, some patchy. There's still a slight thinness there, but it's more opaque compared to Daydream. Um, I was able to get 14 hours of wear. Uh, feel like it has a nice, all of them have very nice, pleasant smell to them. It won't be offensive. And you don't really notice it once you put it on your lip, but as you're applying it, you can notice there's a slight, like, subtle, sweet scent. Um, dries down really fast. However, it will transfer when you're eating or drinking. And I put down warning, do not rub your lips while the color is drying. So that is what the color looks like. So you're someone who likes really hot pink lips, or especially like bubblegum color pink lip color, this is a nice color to try. I will go in with a second layer just so you can see what it looks like. But I do think it's really pretty. A nice pink again for spring, summer, even fall or winter if you want to wear pinks during that time. Like I say, I'm someone who don't. Go by the color of the season, but I know most people do, so I, I do think this will be a nice, pleasant color for spring and summer, especially if you got a nice tan going. This color is really flattering, especially on deeper skin tones. It looks really pretty. And let's go ahead and apply a second layer. Again, I think all the colors that I have that I will be showing you fits all skin tones. I think a good thing that these colors are all buildable. So you know you're someone who don't like it too opaque. You have that option so it can look kind of like a stain on your lip versus an actual lipstick. But you will see for the darker colors you're going to get it a great payoff on one on one basic one swipe so that is the color it's definitely bubblegum pink not candy i don't know maybe it's just like a candy yum yum from matte kind of color 
It's definitely pink. I want to think Candy Yum Yum is more, more brighter neon pink. I don't have Candy Yum Yum, but I would love to own it because I do like bold colors. Depends on, again, my mood and what I want to be wearing. I feel like this color is just stunning. But that is the color. It still has a little bit of the patchy up above on my lip in that area. So just be aware that you may have to go in with a third layer and maybe just pat it instead of going all over again. Just pat in the area that you may feel needs more color concentration. So just like this, just a little bit. And hopefully it drives down like the rest. But you don't want to be too um, layering crazy because it can really make it look, I would think it would make it look a little bit cakey. So you just want to just add enough, you know, and let it just do its thing. And then again, it's very nice. I think once you put the second layer on, it looks, it's going to look really nice. So basically, after the second layer, you, you should be fine. So basically, this is what the color looks like. Again, I really like this color too. I think it's very flattering to my skin tone. Gives that great, like very, like if you're on a, a vacation, you know, where, you know, I don't know, like Miami or something. Just gives that nice flattering color. Just really nice, nice color. It's not an everyday color. You can't go, I don't think it's a color going to work. Wearing, but if you're going out for the evening, you have an event to go to, or you have a date, like this is a nice, pretty color to wear. So again, that is pumped. So I'm going to come back in and swatch the next color for you. Time on bike. I'm back. So we're going to get back into swatching and doing the things that we do here so let's go ahead and start swatching the color fierce so fierce is c l g 405 it is more of a mauvey plum shade and this is what the color looks like definitely have that purple undertone like a lilac Purple, medium tone, and then this is what it looks like on the applicator. I do declare it's a very beautiful color there. Just love it in the sweet times of the spring and summer. It's just very pretty for any day, any occasion. So let's go ahead and start swatching fears. So for those who love a good pop of purple. And you notice this color applies very, very easily without me having to really maneuver the color over my lips. At all. We 
which is a plus. It is like they do really well with the darker shades. I think these are really good, especially if they're they're inexpensive. So you get a lot of these for like if you like this color, you know this is like your bay of all time. You can get five of these for ten dollars if you find it for a dollar ninety nine, or if you find it for a dollar, you could buy ten of these for ten dollars. So it's definitely a nice color. It gives a great, like, plum, purple, beautiful, just gorgeous, gorgeousness. Like, it's really, like, a really great payout for $1.99. These are really good for $3. Their regular retail price on the website, really good. And they have over... I want to think maybe there's 15 shades. There's a lot of shades in this collection. And I hope LA Colors come out with more matte lip colors. These are very pretty. Like a nice orangey kind of color. A burnt rust orange. Like I love orange. Come out with a blue, a teal green, a green. A straight up peach color, straight peach, like the peach tone, all the way through peach. So this is the first layer. I'm not going to go in with the second layer because I feel like the first layer stands on its own. You can still see some of my lips, but it's not as bad compared to the lighter colors. And it's just really pretty. You can wear this color with anything. You can go to work wearing this color. Um, you can go for your events, your weddings, your your dates, your rendezvous. Whatever you want to do, you can wear this color. And it's such a stunning, stunning color. Again, this is the color Fierce. And that's what it looks like. And I felt like fears. Fears, I said, you know, dries fast. All of these colors dry fast, so this is definitely a plus with all of them. It has great opaque pigmentation, it wore long. There's minimal transfer. The color even stays on while you're eating or drinking. And I really have no cons. Like, you're going to see with the darker shades, I absolutely love them. There's no problem. They are more longer wear compared to the lighter shades, Daydream and Pumps. Like, they really stay on your lip. So, that is Fierce. Yes. So, this is the color. Looking really good. Loving it. So I'm going to come back in with the next shade. Well, let's just take some time to admire this color. But I know I'm going to put pump back on. When I'm done with all the swatches, I'm going to put pump back on. I really like that bright pink color. So I'm back to swatch the second of the last shade for today and we're going to go wind this on down because my lips are quite popper, puckered and quite tired and getting hungry so you know it's time to get ready to let me stop playing but anyhow we're going to swatch Pamper. Pamper is a nice fuchsia color. CLG413. So this is what the color looks like. A great deep fuchsia color along the plum spectrum. Very bright 
colored and again the doe foot is the same as the others so this is what the color looks like on camera that zooms in for you so I'm gonna go in and pretty my lips up with this color here If you like bright colors, this is a good this is a good option for you. I really don't really have I said it had a smell earlier. It has like a slight smell. It's slightly sweet, but it's kind of plain. It's not. It's not offensive, not in my opinion. But those who may be sensitive to a little bit of a scent may find that a little bit peculiar. Or just straight off wrong, but. It's okay. So this is the kind of thing that starts happening with me when I start to get, you know, really hungry. My eye sense and everything just starts to change. No, it does. I'm just playing around. Just being lighthearted, being fun. So that is Pamper. Pamper is out of this world. I love, I love a bright, bright purple. Because this is like a bright purple pink, that fuchsia vibe. Definitely bordering on that neon bright side, but not quite neon yet. Just a little bit tiptoeing going in that area, but not quite. Not just yet. Not just yet, but just kind of tinkling and get his little... You know, fake wet, just, you know, just a little dab into the neon and just pull back because don't want to be too neonish, you know. But it is a very beautiful color. So this is what the color looks like in the tube against my lips. It's definitely a nice color. Again... I recommend all these colors. These are one of my favorites. I've done LA color um, swatches in another video. You can go and check those off. Check those out. Those are more of the lip glosses. And I think I swatched two of the matte liquid lip colors. But yes, it's definitely beautiful. I did buy a clear high shine lip gloss not quite sure how to use it I don't want to quite use the doe foot on my lip colors because I feel like those colors will come off onto the doe foot I wanted to stay pristine and clean so I had to figure out how I'm going to use that if you guys have any tips out there that you can you know help a girl out I greatly appreciate that but this is what the color looks like it's very very, very vibe, vivacious, vivoom, just very magnetic, you know. This is a color that will command the room to your attention. This is the type of color. This color and pump will definitely demand, you know, the attention to your face. It really gets that pop of color. And if you're a girl in the summer, you just want a little popping all day. Or you're a guy, you just want to have that very nice shade, you know, to your face. And a great, you know, bright, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? A bright, 
statement. That's the word. You want to make a bright statement, whether you male, female, you want that color statement. This is one of the colors that I would recommend out of this collection, out of the ones I swatched thus far, that will really give you a nice color statement. It is pretty. That's the first layer. And I feel like with Pampered, it has a good color payoff. It's opaque on the first layer. There's no screech. A little bit of patchy, but not quite very patchy. Long wear. Uh, can be easily removed with a makeup wipe. So it's a really good, there's no cons, I really again like the darker shades and I think they do really well, nicely colored for your color statement. I definitely think colors like this need to make their way into makeup like eyeshadow palettes. I know these colors are in eyeshadow palettes. But I'm ready for these bold, bright colors for palettes. Like pops, just pop, pop, pop. Every color is popping. With different like finishes, you got your matte. Then you have your metallic foils, your duochromes, your satin, pearlescence. Like just popping color. Like the whole 2018 needs to be like a very color statement year. And purple is the Pantone color so definitely wear your purple and proud be proud and you know just really stand out so I'm gonna stop babbling but yeah that is the color and I'm gonna come back and swatch the last color and we'll be done and I'll wrap up my final thoughts so stay tuned This color is really nice. Anyone out there, I'm just calling to look for you, all your leapy lovers. I'm coming back to you with the last swatch for today. It is no other but the Perception. So we have Perception CLG 406 matte liquid lips color and this is what the color looks like so we look like we got a nice little brick red terracotta kind of color going on here and you know we're just gonna go ahead and swatch this so it's very pretty again nice color for the spring and summer this is what the doe foot looks like got definitely a red undertone i said more burgundy type color so this is for my lovers of red, anything red. So let's go ahead and swatch it. So this is what it looks like. It's definitely brick red. It borders deep. So you're someone with a lighter... Complexion than me is going to look even more deeper, even if you are a darker skin tone for me, it may still look just as darker. Or it may look lighter, but the color is. It is true to the container. I really like it. Because I love my reds, especially my red that borders that brown, vampy type of color. I love those types of reds. So that is the first layer. 
the color payoff on this one by far out of all of them this one stays on my lip the longest even when I'm eating it stays on it may wear off a little bit in the center of my lip but it pretty much stays on great color payoff great pigmentation um, long wear just really like a beautiful color like on my skin tone like it's a really nice shade so I think this color will look good with most all if not all skin tones again it depends on your preference this is definitely for the lovers of red variation of red colors so I definitely recommend this color perception it is very perceptual it's very pretty and I definitely like it um, in terms of the oil base remover if you wear this on longer you may need to use an oil base remover but I find for just using a regular makeup wipe I was able to remove the colors I was I have been using my Shea Moisture coconut hibiscus makeup wipes the whole time to remove the colors in between filming each one and I was able to remove them just fine but again because I feel like these are like definitely matte but they're not like heavy duty matte that's just gonna glue to your lips or as some of you all who don't like um, very drying like suck the life out of your lips type of matte uh, formulas this is definitely a comfortable matte it's versatile and it basically feels like you're not wearing anything on your lip I personally like it I would recommend it to those who love matte liquid lipsticks it is definitely something to put in your your vanity your Alex drawers your your bathroom arsenals, um, any place, your purse, your makeup bags is definitely something I would say keep on handy. And again, if you're someone who's still debating whether you want to try these, at least buy one or two, one from the light spectrum, one from the darker spectrum, so you could get a combination of both, you know, get a procession for both of them. So let's get into my final thoughts because you know perception is definitely is ready to give its final thoughts and again I really like this color it's so stunning it's so pretty so overall I love the selection of matte liquid lip colors I feel like these colors bring out certain skin tones I think all these colors will work well with all skin tones, but definitely for, you know, people of color, you have melanin in your skin, you'll want to give these colors a try because I do think it will give you that, that color statement that you're looking for. They're inexpensive, they're great quality, great quality for the price, and I really like them. Other than the slight patchiness with some of them, um, even with this shade, you'll see a little bit of patchiness, but it's durable, you know. You just go in with that second layer, let it dry, or if you're someone who just prefer to put lip liners underneath your lip colors, that's fine too. But again, I always feel like matte liquid lipsticks should be formulas that stand on their own without support of... Um, lipstick liners like they should be able to just do well without having to use any supportive elements but that is my thought I do recommend them I like them again they're perfect for the spring and summer this color is perfect even for the fall and winter so all you have to do is just call as I say it would be there so I love the selection so you can't go wrong with them. And if you don't like them, let me know. So for those who have tried the LA Colors, matte lip colors, what are your favorite selection of colors? How do you wear them? Do you like to wear them with neutral eyes, smoky eyes, metallic eyes? Um, do you just wear the color by itself or maybe a little bit of mascara, um, eyeliner, 
what is your go-to look for these lip colors and yeah and just say hi you know what's up and I always be trying to check my comments as usual so I do I do stress kindness on my channels I want kindness to come from all walks of life you know because I am here to provide a service and I am here to help those and though you know I you know some people may feel like there's a certain preference when they're looking at videos I am here I am very detailed I am very thorough but I believe in putting a lot of time in my videos to help those who are interested and in watching and especially to get something out of it because I never want my videos to feel like they're rushed or they're not getting enough time so I do apologize for those who may find my video a little bit too long or too much information. Um, that's why I try to provide timestamps so you all can just get what you need and, you know, maybe move on to another video. But again, with all blessings, I wish you nothing but love and peace and also to have a really good upcoming weekend. Thursday, Friday is around the corner by the time I upload this video. Hopefully it'll be this weekend. If not, hopefully by next week I'll get this video up. I'm trying to film a lot of videos and try to keep my channel up to date. I'm bouncing between my old life beauty and my life journey to be natural. So if you're into skincare and definitely soap reviews, go check my channel out on that um, spectrum and I'm going to be talking about some of the um, products that I talk about in a haul like those soaps I will be coming to do a review for those so I also have some skincare here so I'm just balancing between all avenues of my social media everything trying to work a schedule to keep this bowl rolling in a Thank you for being patient with me and hopefully you find my content helpful. So with that, I wish you nothing but love and peace again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.